Hi, Paul Donovan here, AV Technician.ca. Welcome to my channel. What is an AV Technician? Well, back in 2016, I asked this question and I gave you a very good description about what an AV Technician does. And I received a lot of very positive comments from people. Now here it is, 2023, many years later, post COVID, and the role of the AV Technician has changed somewhat, but it really is the same. If you want to follow my channel, click subscribe. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, like this video. And we do, I do have the, the comments turned on. So feel free to leave me a comment about this video. I won't repeat a lot of the things I said in 2016. That would be worrisome, but I put a link in the description box below to the video that I made in 2016, and that'll give you a great outline of what it means to be an AV technician. But I want to talk about a little bit about what has changed for AV technicians post COVID. Now, many of us will vividly recall March, 2020, at least here in North America. That month will live in our memories forever. We'll be telling our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren about the day the earth stood still. Well, not stood still, but it's the, it's the day the whole planet stopped working, except essential workers. Now, in the past, when we've had pandemics or, op or some kind of epidemic, it's happened in regions. This one, it affected the whole world. Many people, including myself, lost their jobs. I had to go on employment insurance. I had to get government sponsored funding. I had to find a way to survive for those two years. I had virtually, not virtually, reality. I had no work. It was scary. And I know that I can tell every single one of you who's listening to this video, you remember those days. For two years, a lot of us had no work. Unless you happen to be one of the essential workers or the frontliners or many other words that you say. Somehow, we managed to survive. Essential workers kept on working, but people like myself, an AV technician, our conferences and meetings, gone. We did nothing. I was a little bit lucky in the fact that as a show technician, I had done a lot of virtual events. Now, everybody today knows exactly what I mean when I say virtual events, because we have done them. There was a product available at just the perfect timing for the pandemic called Zoom. Have you heard of it? If you haven't heard of it, what kind of rock have you been hiding under? Zoom was the tool that allowed meetings and conferences to continue to happen when people couldn't travel. Now, there were other applications on the market. I can't say Zoom was the only one, but Zoom is the one that hit the market super fast. And we were so happy that it did. It was a stressful time, and with Zoom, we were possible to us to continue to have work. Now, as an AV technician, especially as a show technician, I have done virtual events in the past, primarily for the people who don't attend the meeting so they can watch it without having to travel. Not so much the presenters being remote as much as the audience. Well, Zoom came to our, to our, our, what do you call it? Zoom just saved us. And it made it possible for us to have a virtual meeting anytime. We could continue to upgrade, train, teach people, to inform people. We could still have all of these things. So we ended up having meetings or webinars using Zoom or to other tools similar to that. So I became a virtual AV technician. I mean, a virtual meeting AV technician. But even that work was pretty limited. I mean, Zoom, not only did they hit the market the right way, they offered you a free option to use it. You could have a meeting for 20 minutes for free. Uh, and even if you did choose to pay here in Canada, it's just $20 a month. Really small price to pay to be able to have meetings and there's no limit. So a lot of the customers saw this free or cheap service and said, hey, 
We're going to do it ourselves. Why hire these expensive technicians and go for it? Yes, we, uh, <laughs> yes, we sat home and we listened to our clients saying, hi, we help. We don't know how to use Zoom. We don't know how to do this. We don't know how to do that. Well, we, we survived. Let's just put it that way. As 2022 rolled in, things started to open up. And here in Canada, meetings started to happen in person. And things just sort of grew and developed. Now, here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, we have one really, really big AV company. They recently bought everybody and put them all together under one name. And we have a few little guys scattered around, including the company that I work for. Um, the problem is during the pandemic, because of the loss of work and the need for people to find ways to earn a living, a lot of our technicians, be it show technicians or setup technicians, left the industry and went elsewhere. They moved to where it's cheaper to live or whatever, things like that. So we are, our pool of show technicians, and these are the people that I relate to because of course that's where I do my work, these show technicians, the pool got smaller. Instead of having a hundred show technicians, competent, good show technicians working in Vancouver, we probably have 50 now. And without having events to train technicians, we don't have a lot of technicians that are coming into the market. And we need ways to teach these people how to be show technicians. Set up technicians too. We need them as well, but we have a lot of work to do. So I have tied my, what do they say, hang, hung my shingle. I basically tied most of my work to a single AV company here in Vancouver. Not the big guy. Maybe that's stupid. I don't know. But I chose over the years to tie myself to a single AV company. And as a result, my boss is nice enough that he tends to put me into jobs first before some of the other guys who work with us. But see, a lot of my coworkers, they work for the other AV companies, not just for the company I work for. They work for the four or five small companies or even for the big company. And so they end up getting like in 2022, they said, oh, I can't keep up. They just ended up working and working and working, keeping up. All through 2022, I was working, but oftentimes I had short events or medium-sized events or whatever. I had all sorts of events, but it just was not quite up to speed when Christmas came. And Christmas, of course, is another slow spot. So here we are now in 2023. In-person meetings are happening a lot. A new type of meeting style called hybrid is also happening. And I have a video coming up that we're going to talk about hybrid events. So slowly we're building up and February 2023 and onwards forward, there are more events getting booked. And I expect to be super busy, especially with my added talent of being a show technician who can handle hybrid events, virtual meetings. That's very positive. So if you happen to be a show technician and you haven't learned how to use Zoom yet, you should put that into your study bank. Learn how to use Zoom, not just the basics, how to turn it on and all that kind of stuff. Learn some of the tricks of the trade, things you can do with Zoom that will enhance the quality of the work that you do as a show technician. I don't see the need for virtual meetings to go away. No. So that's why I tell you, learn about it. Now, if you haven't already learned, I'm going to be making some videos over the next few months about Zoom, about OBS, various software and tools that are available to help us enhance our meetings. And then I've got a video coming up very shortly that's going to talk about hybrid events. That's a new vocabulary word in our, in our life. So, there it has, in a nutshell, a little bit of the change that has happened in what is an AV technician, the 2023 edition. Click subscribe to follow my channel. Don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up. And I am planning to be quite busy onwards, moving forward, creating videos on a regular basis. So by ch subscribing to my channel, you will be able to get notification of any future videos that I post up list. So we'll see. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Paul Donovan here from AV Technician.